Recently, I teamed up with my friend Epsilon to code Plague Inc. for the TI-84 Plus CE calculator. If you haven't seen that video yet, pause this one and go watch that right now. If not, today I'll be showing you how to download and play Plague Inc. on your own TI-84 Plus CE or TI-83 Premium CE calculator. One disclaimer before I start this tutorial, if you have OS 5.5 or higher, you won't be able to download and play custom games made in C like this one. If you don't need to update, this is your warning. If you've already updated your calculator, you'll only be able to play games made in TI Basic or Python if you have the Python Edition calculator. Without further ado, let's start the tutorial. If you don't already have TI Connect CE downloaded, pause the video and download that now with the link in the description. Once you have TI Connect CE downloaded, you'll want to go to everydaycode.net, find Plague Inc. or Contagion CE, and click download. This link will also be in the description. Once you have this zip file, extract it to your desktop. Now that you have TI Connect CE and the unzipped files, you'll want to connect your calculator to your computer using the USB cable that came with it. Then, in TI Connect CE, you'll want to click on the File Explorer or the Paper icon and drag the files over. Click Send on all of these files. Contagion CE and all of the other files will automatically be archived, so you don't have to worry about losing them in a RAM reset. Now go to your calculator, press Program, find Contagion, press Enter, and press Enter again. Once you're in the game, you can choose many different options in the main menu. But for the purposes of this video, I'll just select play. If it's your first time playing, you'll be prompted to choose a difficulty. These games can take up a lot of time, so I prefer to play on easy. After selecting your difficulty, you can type your virus name using the letters above your keypad. I'll name my virus sub lol, because if you're watching this and you aren't subscribed yet, what are you doing? When you're done typing your virus name, press enter. Now you can select the starting location for your virus using the arrow keys. Once you find the right place, press enter again. You can really maximize the spread of your virus if you start off right. Although the starting location can be helpful, it's really the mutations that count. You start the game with 5 DNA points that can be spent in the mutation menu. To open this menu, press the graph key. In this menu, you can upgrade how fast the virus spreads, its resistance to a cure, civil unrest, and its lethality. I like to go for transmission and civil unrest to get the virus spreading early on. You can use your keypad to move between the continents and to see how the virus is progressing. If you want a more detailed view of the spread of the virus, you can press mode. This transportation view will show the spread between ports. You can prevent ports from closing with a civil unrest upgrade. From then on, it's just a waiting game. If the world can find a cure before you infect everyone, you lose the game. It's pretty simple. If you don't have enough time to finish a full game, you can exit and it'll save for you. There are so many other amazing features in this game such as the scrolling news bar and the sub menus, but I'll leave that up for you to explore. That's pretty much it for now. This is the first version of the game, but we will be adding more features if there's any more interest. Once again, if you haven't seen the original video where I coded this game with my friend Epsilon, check that out now. That is on a different channel, so make sure to subscribe over there too. Send this video to all your friends that have a TI-84 calculator. Let's get this trending. With that said, this has been an Everyday Code tutorial. Thanks for watching.